we we we're not just talking about the efficacy and the safety of these uh, of these drugs. We're we're also access is equally important. What use is it to, uh, to us if it's safe and, and and efficacious if we don't have access to it? Which raises the question of where do you see the Philippines in all of this? I mean, people are you know wringing their hands and fretting na 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 huli tayo sa na huli tayo sa pila and so on. However accurate or fair it is to frame. That the reality is, we are not uh, first in line. We are uh, behind certain countries. Once we get it, it will come in well, not naman trickles, but in a small uh, proportion to our population first, and then hopefully later on, as production ramps up, that we get more access and so on. But assuming that we're two months, three months, a quarter or two behind, uh, never mind the rest of the world, but let's say behind our neighbors, what does that mean for us? Well, that means we should not hold our breath until it comes. Uh, that means we should now uh, start taking our own precautions outside the vaccine formula. Uh, I think uh, we've been okay. Uh, social distancing works. Wearing facial masks is okay. Uh, mm. doing your uh, washing, your disinfection, and so on. Uh, th that works, and that's what they're saying. Even with the vaccine, you still need to do that because you can still uh, uh, get infected, may not necessarily be a sick without the vaccine, but we still have to do that. So right now, I think we have to be more active uh, with those uh, uh, minimum healthcare protocols, but I think we need to have more testing and we need to have more quarantine stations that will, if uh, uh, we find somebody sick, that we can have community quarantine stations that are not like a lockdown, like, not like a prison. I think uh, we need to live with uh, uh, COVID-19 for quite some time, and uh, we just have to adjust. But if we do not make this uh, kind of uh, 